Making ice cream at home is so simple and the taste is unparalleled. You'll never want to go back to the store brands. This Cuisinart ice cream maker makes it so easy and so quick in as little as 15 minutes. It comes with two bowls so you can always have a batch ready. My other bowl is in the freezer right now. And I'm going to show you how to make my favorite cookies and cream recipe. I'm going to start by heating up some half and half and whisking together my egg yolks and my sugar. But of course, the best part of making ice cream at home is that you can make whatever flavor you like. My eggs are looking good. I'm going to wait for the half and half to get hot, and then we'll move on with the next step of our recipe. My milk has come up to the right temperature, so I'm now going to pour it very slowly into my eggs and sugar mixture. And you can see I placed my bowl onto a towel to keep it stable. My mixture is now well combined, so I'm going to put it back on the stove to cook for a few more minutes and thicken up. When it can coat the back of a wooden spoon, I'll know it's ready to move on to the next step. My custard base has come to the right consistency, and you can tell when you can run your finger through the back of a spoon. I'm now going to pour it all through a sieve into another bowl where we're going to add our final few ingredients. And by doing this, we ensure that we'll have the smoothest, creamiest ice cream. It'll take out any little particles that may be left behind from the eggs. We're adding in some vanilla, just a tiny pinch of salt, and finally some cream. This is, after all, a recipe for cookies and cream. I'm going to stir my ingredients until they're well blended, and then I'm going to place this entire bowl into the fridge until it's thoroughly chilled. And that's how simple it is to make a basic ice cream base. My cookies and cream base is thoroughly chilled, and as you can see, before I popped it into the fridge, I put a layer of plastic wrap on top and pressed it against the top surface so the skin wouldn't build. To assemble my ice cream maker, I'm going to start with my pre-frozen bowl, thoroughly frozen. It's been in the freezer for about 24 hours, and again, that's the benefit of having that second bowl, so you can always have one freezing. Put in the paddle, put the lid on top, and we're going to start the ice cream maker, just the flip of a switch. I'm now going to pour the custard base through the hole on top. And again, this next process will take just a matter of minutes. When we get very close to the end, that's when we add in the good stuff, the little cookie pieces. It's been about 15 minutes, and as I can see through the top of the machine, my ice cream is nice and firm. That means it's time to add in my sandwich cookie pieces. Now really, when you're making homemade ice cream, you can make any flavor you like. Try adding in nuts or your favorite candies, frozen fruits. Really, anything you like can be turned into an ice cream flavor. But today, I'm going to add lots and lots of cookie pieces for the most rich and decadent ice cream. At this point, we have soft serve ice cream. It'd be delicious right now, but I'm going to pop this into the freezer for a few more hours so it's a little harder. It's been a few hours and my ice cream has firmed up. Now it's ready to scoop and serve. And as you saw, it was so simple to make, so easy, and the results are going to be out of this world. After making your own homemade ice cream, you'll never want to go back to the store-made kind. And doing so with the Cuisinart ice cream maker couldn't be simpler. Enjoy. Making ice cream at home is so simple and the taste is unparalleled. You'll never want to go back to the store brands. This Cuisinart ice cream maker makes it so easy and so quick in as little as 15 minutes. It comes with two bowls, so you can always have a batch ready. My other bowl is in the freezer right now, and I'm going to show you how to make my favorite cookies and cream recipe. I'm going to start by heating up some half and half 